coming to you from Estadio Azteca in Mexico City with NFL Film Senior Director Steve Trout. I'm Danny Sarek, and this is Sideline Exchange presented by Hyundai. Steve, you're out here in Mexico City for the Cardinals game against the 49ers with your crew. What have you guys done differently preparation-wise for this international game? We knew all along, you know, since April when the schedule came out, how cool this would be. Uh, so not knowing until when the Cardinals came on board that this would be a part of the show. We knew that this would be a, a special uh, episode, episode three of these nine episodes. And it, the, the, the logistical challenge of getting us all here, thank God, is not my purview. We have staff who are doing an amazing job. But knowing we're coming here makes Mexico a character of episode three. How many boots on the ground are in Mexico City with your crew? We have about 60, 65 people here. Um, we'll have 10 cameras. Each crew is about two or three, that's 30. With another 15 or 20 support, we're looking at 60, 65. And how does that compare to the crew out in Tempe? Same size. Same size, so we, everyone travels. We have a little more because of the traveling international um, challenges, but it's about the same. This episode of Hard Knocks will have a feature on offensive lineman Will Hernandez, who lived in Mexico for a few years. He's on IR, so he won't be playing. However, what can viewers expect to see from that feature? We were so excited to tell his story, A, because he's a good human being, uh, and then B, that he's from here. When he got hurt, we're like, oh no. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. He's still gonna be here. His story is still gonna be so cool. There'll be a scene in episode three with him and a lot of Hernandez family who live here. Uh, which will really get to know him as a human, not as a football guard, not as a lineman, as a true human being. And it's got to be so special for him to play here. He hasn't been back here since he was five years old, so we're going to be a fly on the wall for his experience this whole week in this show. You're a fly on the wall everywhere yeah. in the facility. Practice, meeting rooms, everywhere. When you're following so many storylines, yeah. what's the decision-making process of what actually makes it into just the one-hour episode? Steve Sable had a really cool saying that things like this are building an airplane flight. So you can kind of have an idea, but it's going to go like this, and you got to go along with it. So we think we know big storylines heading into a week like Will in episode three. But that's about it. Um, so as, as the football season goes, so do we. And then what our goal is to, to really humanize them um, and really make them brothers and husbands and sons and friends and have the same vulnerabilities that you and I have. And they put their shoes on the same way you and I do. And they're home with their, uh, their families every night that, like you and I are. That's our job is we're to make this not just a football series, but a human series. And so each week we try and find those characters. When you're looking through the footage, which player or coach has been the most entertaining from a production standpoint so far? There, there are guys I've known for a long time. I've known JJ since he was a, coming out of college. I've known AJ since he was coming out of college through my job. Kelvin Beecher makes me laugh every time I see him or hear his voice. Um, so he's up there. And the, the thing that we get with Hard Knocks is a trust factor with them that they let their guard down, all of them. So I think we're getting doors opened that no one else can. And so you're getting to really know these guys more so than any other show. That's our goal. And so I think a lot of that's coming out with a lot of the guys. Something viewers might not know is that the footage is sent to headquarters in Jersey. So there is a lot that goes into making just a single episode. What is one aspect you think would surprise the viewers about this entire process top down? Probably the amount of footage we shoot. The shows, Danny, are probably 50, 55 minutes long. We shoot about 200, 220 hours for every episode. So you're looking at one half of 1% of everything we shoot makes air. And then what about everything else? Well, you have to do it that way. To make it a show, I think that to meet the bar that Hard Knocks is, that is, is meeting, you gotta get the best of the best of the best of the best of the best. And so yeah, there, there are things that may become social hits or a couple years down the road, we might end up doing a story on someone that we didn't know might have a great story. Oh, we have all that footage back in 22. Um, but you have to find the best of the, you know, the tip of the iceberg. Well, we're excited. Episode three coming out Wednesday night. It's gonna have so much more Mexico City coverage every Wednesday night, a new Hard Knocks episode now through the end of the Cardinal season. Steve, thanks so much for joining here and your crew who's covering the Cardinals. It's been a lot of fun watching you guys around the facility. For Steve Trout, I'm Danny Stark. Thanks so much for tuning in to Sideline Exchange.